Waking up at about 6 a.m. every day is probably the, the hardest part of the day for me. Just because I'm not a morning person and then with such limited time we're given, it's, it's hard to go to bed on time, like, you know, early enough to get eight hours of sleep and, and still wake up at six and feel fine. And, you know, we're waking up at six just to, like, to go work out. It's not like we're going like, straight to class or sit down, like we're going to do some physical activity that's pretty tiring on the body. You know, waking up at 6 a.m. every morning and going straight to workouts, knowing you have the whole day ahead of you can kind of get exhausting at times. But uh, these type of things, it builds your character and kind of develops you to be the man that you want to be in life. After workouts, um, depending on if you have any injuries or not, and with football, most of the time you'll have at least something wrong with you. You got to go to mandatory treatment, and you got to get the ice or stretched out or heat or stem on your like shoulders or whatever it may be. And then that takes another hour every morning, and then you got to fit breakfast in there at some point. And uh, and that's a pretty hard because a lot of times people are either trying to gain or lose weight with football, depending on the position. Having to balance academics while playing a sport can be very stressful at times, you know. You go through the whole day, you have class, lunch, you have to eat, we have workouts and all that, and then from 3 to about 7 or 8 p.m., you're busy just for football between meetings, practice, you have to shower afterwards, and trying to find the time just to do work and kind of focus in on that after you practice while you're already tired and stressed. Typical day for me is class ends at about 2.20 and I've got about 25 minutes to rush over to the football facility and get dressed and, and get to meetings and and prior to meetings I'd have to already found the time during the day to, to watch film on my own before we go watch film with our position coach and go over it and then we watch meeting, or we watch film for about uh, two hours and then we go out to practice and spend about you know, two and a half hours out there. Uh, just the locker room, for example, is probably one of the places where we have the most fun as a team, you know, just between dance-offs, just joking with one another. We all create a special bond in here. It's something that's kind of hard to explain to somebody unless you, it's kind of hard to understand unless you really live it, you know, experience it and things like that. Uh, uh, there definitely is a love-hate relationship at times, but uh, through all the things that we do, I don't think that many of us are changing anything about it, you know. Kind of giving a brotherhood, you know, you got to find a, you always, feel at home, you know, when you come back, you come to a facility, you see all your brothers day in and day out. And when you're grinding, you do everybody, all, everybody on the team is doing the same thing. It kind of builds like a special bond between you and the guys that you're with. Oh yeah. It's a grind at practice for sure. It's exhausting work. Giving 100% on the field day in and day out. Before college, I don't think I ever worked hard for something like I do in practice. Each practice drains your energy. It's so hard to commit the same energy for schoolwork day after day. After practice, you know, the first thing on your mind is you want to go get some dinner, but a lot of times you still have to go into treatment and hit it for a second time, you know, like uh, icing and, and heat and all that again. Then you got to go and get dressed and and shower, and then uh, sometimes depending on your, your grades you got, you got mandatory study hall here. Study hall starts at 8 and it goes to about 9.30, and a lot of people get a lot of work done here, but I mean, you still have to go to the library most of the time and finish some stuff up, uh, depending on how much work you have that night. And I mean, study hall definitely helps with like time management and all that. And uh, I mean, just throughout the day, you have, you have to work on your time management or else you won't make it just being a student athlete. Uh, one of the hardest things about being a student athlete at Furman is just the big misconception of, you know, you play a sport, so you're handed everything in, in the classroom. Like, like at the bigger schools, the SEC schools, they might not, have to, might not have to work as hard, you know, they might have people do their work for them. Or, or people, I've heard people, like, they get their tests taken for them and stuff like that. And, like, 
That's nowhere near the case here at Furman. I mean, we're treated just the same as any other uh, student here. You know, we have to work just as hard in the classroom, and we have the demands of, of playing our sports here, like on the field, you know, with our practice and all that.